men are in the success equation but it starts with god the formula is in the beginning god is someone ready to pray in the spirit go ahead and pray in the spirit for one minute before i speak i release these prophetic words over you ah don't waste this dream don't waste this dream it has come as a prophetic guide for us seasons of abundance a season of abundance by the power of the Holy Spirit. Abundance of grace, abundance of resources, riches and wealth, empowerment and supplies for the sake of the kingdom, for the sake of God's program, for the sake of your dignity. Someone pray, take a minute to pray. God is not a man that he should lie. God is not the son of man that he should repent. Had he said it, shall he not make it good? Go ahead and pray. kings there are kingdoms there are mountains and there are thrones but only a shoe will reign forever to his kingdom there'll be no way there are kings there are kingdoms there are mountains and there are thrones. Only a shoe will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. Only a shoe Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I made a covenant with my destiny that I will never be poor that I will not serve God in poverty not when I found this it is God and men and they are all in abundance God is is nigh them that call upon him there are eight billion people on earth i told you everybody cannot hate you the formula for your wealth is already there so the bible says the increase of the earth is for all and that even the king walks by the same formula if the king wants to prosper it is still wisdom favor man resources if you go to serve satan it is still the same thing your covenant alignment and your loyalty revealing the purpose for that wealth then you will have a negative expression of wisdom and favor bringing men no matter how you route it it is the same formula so you now understand what Men like God's servant, Bishop David Oedipo, will say that God said, get down and make my people rich. Now, many people have misunderstood it, but I understand it to mean get down and become an agent of imparting wisdom and favor upon my people. Because when they have access to my wisdom, God makes you an agent of blessing men, not just by making you a businessman. He makes you a custodian of the wisdom of heaven. A custodian of the favor of God you should never be under this grace and struggle financially because these virtues by the Spirit this wisdom and favor are in abundance 
try to believe what I'm saying. Believe that I love you enough to not deceive you. So as I pray now, know that God took you from home and brought you here to receive a higher dimension of wisdom, to receive a higher dimension of favor, and you now know what to watch out for from a financial standpoint, that when wisdom comes upon you, when favor comes upon you, what becomes your next prayer point? Lord, give me discernment because I know men are coming. Let me not abort prophetic seasons and you now begin to rehearse all that I've taught you about relationships, to practice the law of honor, to be friendly, to be courteous. Are we together? So that when the men come, they will stay. And when they stay, they will bring to you gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And when they bring to you gold and frankincense and myrrh, listen carefully, as they bring that to you, then you remember the Lord thy God, for it is he who has given you the power to prosper. You will not brag around and make a lot of noise because before you started the journey, your agreement with God is that his blessing upon you will not distract you. You will still be on your knees as a billionaire. You will still be on your knees as a giver to the work of God. Only a shoe will reign forever to his kingdom there'll be no end. Look at me. Now you know how Solomon prospered. God did not give him gold. He loved the Lord enough and offered a thousand bond offerings. God came to him in the night and said, Solomon, what should I give you? And Solomon said, I'm a young man. Grant unto me an understanding heart to know judgment. And God said, you are wise. Who taught you this? You did not ask for the life of your enemies. Because your enemies are not the only hindrance to your, your going forward. It is principally wisdom. And he said, because you have asked this and not the life of your enemies, I have given you this. As soon as Solomon got up, the first manifestation of wisdom was judging the case of two harlots. The story spread round. Kings started coming. The Bible says they came to learn the wisdom of Solomon. Who is this man? And they came with treasures. If you knew Solomon in January 2024, by May 2024, with the spirit of wisdom, you may look at him and say, what get rich quick did you get into like this? I told you, I don't believe in get rich quick as a scam, but my God, God can give you acceleration by wisdom. How about favor? Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake? And he carried Mephibosheth and said, from today you will dine with me here all the days of your life. Who likes you matters. Who likes you matters. When God wants to help you, he will make Pharaoh like you. He will make Abimelech like you. He will make Boaz like you. He will make Ahasuerus like you. Don't you see it all through scripture? There is no magic to this thing. When God wants to help you, my God, he will amplify your little efforts so that other men who already have what is yours will leave it there and run away. And you will come and find abundance. Even when he says, by this time tomorrow, it happens through men. Even when he gets to Jehoshaphat, how do people go for war carrying gold? They all fell as dead men. They were dead, but they were still men. And the gold was still on them, even though they were dead men. What gives value to everything that drives us today? Oil and gas, real estate, investments, whatever you call it, is men. And if those men hate you and stand as a blockade, you will be surprised how gifted you can be. And yet you will remain limited. So to someone here who has been unemployed, to someone here who has been fighting to make ends meet, God has announced to you, I want to pray now, these two graces on your life, wisdom and favor, and I want you to receive it. 
and I'm praying this over our global family and as many people who believe in this mystery you will marvel and wonder I know what the wisdom of God can do I know what his favor can do to an individual to a ministry to a people can I pray for you now Oh, oh rest on me oh, oh rest on me oh, oh, oh rest on me spirit of wisdom When you send a word to Jacob, it is so that it be lightened upon Israel. You showed me this dream. A shoot growing in a moment of time to become a giant tree. And I saw season of abundance. Lord, we receive as a ministry your prophetic word. As individuals, as a ministry, as all the businesses, and all the value adding services connected to this vision and now oh god i have taught your people as you've placed in my heart i pray that you will honor these prophetic declarations that this grace truly will come on them i decree and declare over everyone under the sound of my voice in this place across the overflows online in the name of jesus tonight by reason of this prophetic word receive right now the spirit of wisdom receive right now the spirit of wisdom extraordinary wisdom wisdom as strange solutions wisdom as divine direction wisdom as the capacity to speak right to say what needs to be said in the presence of your helpers. Wisdom as capacity upon your mind to think productively. Receive it in the name of Jesus. For everyone who has struggled financially as an individual, as a ministry, as a business as a believer as a family person i decree and declare wisdom bails you out of pain and shame wisdom bails you out of pain and shame wisdom bails you out of pain and shame are you ready to receive favor father this grace that you have placed upon men called favor that can draw kings that can draw nobles that can rearrange a platform to honor a man upon everyone who is here let that grace rest upon you now let favor 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 rest upon you now in the name of jesus and by this impartation all the men whether you call them business partners or destiny helpers or announcers or whatever it is in whatever capacity i gravitate them towards your life i gravitate helpers towards your life I gravitate the wealthy towards your life help us of the war may they find you may they bless you may they find you may they bless you may they find you may they bless you may God use them to lift you may God use them to announce you I say it again may God use them to bless you may God use them to announce you in the name of Jesus
when the prophet told the woman who was in debt he said go and borrow vessels you thought it would be about oil no it was not about oil it was not the oil that gave her money her money came from men he said now that you have the oil i have prophesied some men that will be waiting for you go and sell it to them they will be willing to buy it let me pray for someone your wisdom will not be a waste the favor on you will not be a waste i say it again the men that must show up to honor the presence of wisdom to honor the presence of favor may god send them to you may god bring them to you send them to you bring them to you in the name of jesus christ and when those men come may god walk upon their heart to open their hands financially towards you may god walk upon their heart to open their hands financially towards you hear me again may god walk upon their hearts to open their hands financially towards you in the name of jesus christ everyone here who is in debt you are in financial problems in the name that is above all names by this same mystery of wisdom bringing men bringing resources come out of that financial situation come out of borrowing and begging and owing i say it again come out of begging and borrowing and owing you will owe no man nothing but love in the name of jesus final prayer for you listen to me covenant wealth kingdom wealth like i've taught you is hinged on your vowing before god that everything he brings to your life will be for your comfort his kingdom and the world around you your comfort his kingdom and the world around you your comfort his kingdom and the world around you by this agreement when you step into it god can be free to release to you now whatever comes because he knows it will not destroy you i'm praying for you grace to not be distracted by every blessing god gives receive it grace to take care of yourself your children your family when he blesses you receive that grace grace to support the work of the kingdom without coercion and manipulation receive it grace to be a blessing to everyone around you receive it in the name of jesus god will give you wealth that will last you will not go up today and down tomorrow you will not be wealthy today and be a beggar tomorrow in the name of jesus now i pray for you any one of you who has been involved in any practice financially speaking that has drawn a cost to your life or to those around you you see that now the integrity of heart and loving jesus serving him and living for him even with your finance your finance is also an act of worship i pray for you if there is any embargo that authorizes hell to keep recycling poverty and pain and want and lack around your life in the name of jesus let the blood speak let mercy speak let the blood speak let mercy speak therefore by this impartation go and prosper prosper mysteriously prosper miraculously prosper consistently 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 in ever increasing dimensions in jesus mighty name we pray give jesus a big hand clap give jesus a big big hand clap it's a new season for you it's a new season for you in the name of jesus hallelujah please when you go back home listen to this message again 
discipline yourself get it again put on your earphones listen perhaps you may want to take a day to fast listen to it again open up your heart and walk yourself glide miraculously mysteriously into the wealthy place thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads we walk through fire and through water but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place may your week be blessed amen. shout a believing amen. amen i decree and declare that his hand is strong upon you amen. this prophetic word begins to speak over your life from tonight amen. next week is your turn to testify amen. in the name of jesus christ amen. you will be an embodiment of the abundance of the spirit amen. and you will not only prosper you will bring many into that reality amen. may my god bless you you are a well-watered garden. I call you Beulah. I call you Hefziba. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are still ailing people. Is there no balm in Gilead? You are getting people filled with the Holy Ghost. Five over ten. Is that a pass? They invite you into a family serve you lunch as a man of God take care of you even sow a seed for you and then they say pray for us and you pray and nothing happens the spirits just watch you and nod their head and you prayed in Jesus name Hi. somebody needs to be angry and say no more no more no more is it not a season of extraordinary fruitfulness no more no more no more Oh, in your presence. Oh, in your presence. Oh. apostle but there's nothing apostolic about me they call me prophet 
But there's nothing prophetic about me. It can't continue like this. Is someone praying? Shanata pakaratasi. Increase my capacity. Increase my capacity. According to the power. According to the power. According to the power. Thank you for yesterday's result. But Lord, I press to the challenges of today. Thank you for the healings of yesterday. Thank you for the miracles of yesterday. Thank you for the signs, the prophecy of yesterday. But Lord, I am dissatisfied. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. You know you have entered a new dimension by the things that begin to answer to you. When I call you and you do not come, it's called dishonor. It means you do not regard me. So when you call healing at a dimension and it does not come, when you call breakthroughs at a dimension and it does not come, is the realm of the spirit answering you. You don't have the capacity to make that demand. Listen. You're going to cry for, this, for staying power. It takes stamina and grace. These things are not easy in the flesh. It takes grace. It takes grace. It takes grace. Lift your voice and pray. The stamina, the power that stays, oh God. The power that stays. The power that stays. The power that stays. The power that stays. Hallelujah. 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 Elijah was a man of like passion. Elijah was a man like us. One thing separated him. He prayed earnestly. Not casually. Not circumstantially. He prayed earnestly that there be no rain and gave the timing three and a half years. Had he said ten years, there will be no rain on earth for ten years. Not by the will of God, by the dictates of a man. The largeness of your capacity. The largeness of your capacity. I'd like you to open your mouth. Start to correct things in your life. Start to speak over things. I disallow, I disallow. Shamakatapakato sekete. Embregete kotoko toparakata. I disallow. I disallow. I disallow failure. I disallow weakness. Is someone praying? I disallow oppression over my family. I disallow poverty. I disallow hardship. 
Shabas Kabas Shalakato Zabra Embrakato Kaparato Sesekete Embrakato Kabarada Basatala. I disallow failure in ministry. It shall not be like before. I enter a new season. I disallow joblessness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two more prayers and we are done. Lord, honor my life with strange results. Strange results. Whether you are a man of God or not, let it please you, O oh God. Honor my ministry. Honor my business. A strange order. Notable results. Notable results. Notable financial results. Notable supernatural results. Outside, are you praying? Honor my life with strange results. Results beyond debate. Results beyond contesting. Results beyond argument. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Honor my church with results. Honor my fellowship with results. Honor my prayer group with results. Honor my family, my wife, my husband, my children. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. What are results? Supernatural workings of God's spirit. Possibilities that only God can produce. You are a man of God. You are a prophet. Your eyes are blind. Your ears are blind. You are not hearing, seeing anything. Abba. Listen, let me tell you this. The last prayer, you are going to say, Oh God, make me dissatisfied with this current level. Listen, 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 listen. There are many of us, your spiritual growth process was corrupted when they started giving you honorarium from one ministration. Whether people are blessed or not, they say, Take 10 naira, take 20 naira. They now invite you to one fellowship and you stop growing. Come on, please. Or when you started a church. Papa, Apostle Joshua Selman. And you stopped growing. Oh, everybody is listening to your messages around the world. That's child's play. You must get to a dimension. Where like Samuel, you are a man whose word cannot fall to the ground. Lord, the dissatisfaction that will push me to the next level. Plant it in me. Plant it in me. Plant it in me. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that's found in you. 
more than little miracles. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know there's more that found with you. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less. We know, we know there's more, there's more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. 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 We know. We know that more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. 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 We know that's more that's found in you. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know that God has found in me. So why is favor not coming? There is a dimension of His divine power that needs to be released. Why are my meetings not characterized by the power and the presence of God? There is a dimension. There is a dimension of his divine power that is still missing. Look, let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, I'd like you to, don't, don't be too soft on yourself within this period. You will not die. Carry something that the world will thank God on your life for. Don't, don't carry what will make you fight with others. Don't carry what will make you feel insecure when a man of God comes. No. God can grant you something solid upon your life. That your life becomes a praise to the nations. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. Our time is long. Listen. Please, let me encourage you sincerely. Whoever you love and you know, please let those this seven days prayer and fasting is not a koinonia meeting this is a portal for the body of Christ to enter into dimensions of possibilities no matter the sacrifice that God can grant you grace to make there are families that have been tied down and the good thing is that we are stretching it down and wrapping up with our miracle service for April. How can you become the same? How can you remain the same? Come with definite expectations. Your marriage, sit with your wife, sit with your children. What are the things that we must see, not may see? His divine power is able to provide it. In the name that is above all names, I pray for you that the grace and the anointing that it takes to stay with God until your spiritual capacity is enlarged beyond your current realm I declare let that grace be released upon you the spiritual experience that you need to be subject to immersed into 
that will expand your capacity to release the power of God that is vested within you in the name of Jesus 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 the son of the living God in the name of Jesus I stand to declare upon you upon your spirit man in the name of Jesus I declare and I speak upon you may that grace rest upon you now when God told me he would give me access to kings and I would speak to kings in this nation I believed him listen it's not pride in two weeks I'm going to be speaking to all the legislators in this country in a breakfast meeting all of them gathered in one place the international conference center and I will be speaking to them the counsel of God when God says it I believe it listen it, this thing is not, it's not, it's not about a man I hope you understand what I'm saying results are powerful if you doubt results then what are you at? results you must insist that my fig tree must bear fruit I'm tired of green leaves Lord this fig tree must bear fruit he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water whose leaves does not wither is someone ready to pray please take two minutes blast in tongues and cry honor my life with results oh god results honor my life with results Please pray. You wait, you wait. Hello, you wait, you wait. Hello, him, you wait, you wait, you wait. Hello, him, you wait, you wait, you wait. Hello, him, you wait. of Jesus the grace that will cause you to reproduce every result you see here may that grace rest upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the grace that will bring you into strange dimensions wonder walking dimensions of results may that grace rest upon your life I speak upon your life access to kings may that grace come upon you access to kings in the name of Jesus Christ access to kings 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I have set before you an open door. I decree and declare the kind of influence that God can put upon a man. Influence is not a carnal desire. It is so that you can rise to a point where the nations can look up to your life. In the name of Jesus, the grace that can cause a generation to look at a man and follow Christ through that man. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. The grace for strange signs and wonders. Wonders of the Spirit. May that grace come upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Every man who must honor and recognize what you carry, I speak to them by prophecy in this season and in the name of Jesus in this month of October, I command someone must celebrate your grace. Someone must celebrate what you carry for the sake of His Majesty. In the name of Jesus, I compel men to discern the grace upon your life. I compel men to discern the hand of God upon you. I compel men to discern the unction upon you. Father, we thank you for tonight. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Let me pray one prayer concerning favor and your finances. Please allow me to pray it. God sees my heart. God sees how much I pray for you every time. There is a dimension of the blessings of the Lord that I want you to step into. And the reason is because it will give you the time to serve Him. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The wealth that comes by prophecy, I speak to your life. Carry that grace now. 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 I command your bands to be filled with plenty. I speak wine and oil to your treasury. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The kind of favor that the saints need to rise to the position of influence that will allow them to legislate on behalf of the kingdom. May the grace for that favor rest upon you. Enter into prepared blessing. Let me pray for you. Multiply visions and spiritual experiences. Hear me the spiritual blindness that stops your eyes from seeing what God is doing. I tear that veil now. I decree and declare everywhere you find yourself, I compel the people there to look up to you as you look up to Christ. Listen. Don't sit back doubting what you are saying. No. Every utterance is backed by the throne. I'm not speaking as a man. When God calls men, He backs them. And that every door you must enter in this season. Because we advance through the entrance of doors. I speak to that door. Let it be open for you now. Let it be open for you now. Indeed, it will be said about us that we are a people that the Lord has helped. Marvelously helped like Uzziah. 
in the name of Jesus. Kala baranda kata praske de balato sabradi ge de balarabu. Emprata kapro sede belekete shala paria da balaraba. Rapadu sada branda ge de balado. Ete prete ke le paru sazia labara. The sacrifice you are making for your destiny. The sacrifice you are making for His kingdom. Karuta Salabara. Two more minutes. Pray in the spirit. Abarada Balakata Pradegedesh. Skadebarada Balada Prakota Shada Pradegede Baladas. Emprata Kaparuta Shala Pradegede Balad. Balabu salabrandi gidi balas, ekhe telabradu salabradi gidi balara balara bo. Ke baru kasi laba kasi ada balara bo. Alleluia, Alleluia. Listen to me. Forget about the temporary inconvenience. That you are going through, you are building something for a generation. You are building something that will last. Rain will come and go, but what comes upon you comes and stays. Are we together now? Praise the Lord. Let's continue the power of faith. Now faith is the Bible says the substance of things hoped for and the evidence the tangibility of things not seen hear me everyone you want to take over territories you will need to believe in god not believe in an uncle not believe in an auntie not believe in an asset not believe in an investment you need to believe in god god is able I may not know how, but I know that he will build for himself what will bring him glory. Many Christians, and especially our generation, we don't command results because we truly do not walk our faith. We doubt everything and we do not take God at his word. I've given you a little story years ago when I used to bang those days with First Bank. Way before many of these facilities started coming that we now use to make banking easier. Then I would not have money at all in the bank. My faith was that rugged. I'm not saying do it. I remember those days I would pray and trust God for miracle alerts. And I would stand up and start trekking to first bank. I would queue for hours believing. Because I read in my Bible what things soever ye desire. When you pray, believest that thou receivest it. I took it literally. Many times I didn't find anything, unfortunately. But I didn't realize that what I was gaining was more than the money. I was gaining the flexibility of my faith. The, the ability to believe God at His word. Let me tell you this. When you are walking with God, you need to believe God. 
There are times God will tell you, wake up and go outside. You will go outside and nothing will happen. He will just say, go back. And your going out was profitless, but your faith is being developed. The idea is not for you to go and see or receive something. The idea is an exercise of your faith. So that tomorrow when he says, take this nation, you say, Lord, I'm able. We are well able. Unbelief is dangerous. My only limitation in my life is the voice of God and time. My only limitation in life is the voice of God and time. Time that honors the law of process. If God tells me to walk through this crowd to that door, I will not even see that rain is falling. I'm on my way going. Whatever stands my way, the faith that God gives. Do you not know that faith is a shield? You can use faith as a shield. It's a wherein you will quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. You are not the first to be persecuted. You are not the first to be challenged by evil spirits. It will take your faith to command victory. We are a generation that loves impartation. And impartation is important. But let me tell you something. There are dimensions of destiny work that impartation will not bring. It's a well you have to dig by believing God. If I perish, I perish. When God spoke about koinonia, I believed him enough to take action. When God spoke about the messages, being heralded by his angel and taking it around the earth, I believed him. Today we've seen all kinds of miracles over our teachings. You've heard some of them. That someone will buy a brand new flash drive from the place where he bought it. And take it home, brand new, out of the cave. Slot it in. And there are koinonia messages all. How do you explain that? That's what happened when faith. Listen, you will never see the glory of God until you believe. You will never see the glory of God until you believe. While a generation that is obsessed with guarantee before we move. Your only guarantee is the word of God. The word of God. Everything God told me about ministry, about destiny, I believed Him. I still do. I still do. From the days when we could not afford bonds and could not afford a proper meal, I believe that was a career of the blessing. From the day when I could not pray for one person to be healed of headache, I believe that his anointing was upon my life. And I believe that he was going to use me. We are going to pray one prayer. I'm going to change my style of teaching now since there is rain. I'm so happy for the rain because it will take away unnecessary formality and keep you to listen. So now you are going to pray. Help my unbelief. Lord, whatever it is that is killing my faith and not allowing me to trust you. Help my unbelief. I claim that I trust you. But it's really my uncle that I trust. I claim I trust you. But it's really my certificates that I trust. I claim I trust you. But it's really my skill, my gift. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. You are praying it for your destiny. You are praying it so that you can command dominion. Lord, I trust you. The grace to believe you. Believe you for my finances. Believe you to open doors. God is not a man that he should lie. 
God is not the son of man that he should repent. If he speaks, he is able to bring his word to pass. Please pray, pray. Koinonia, pray. He reigns. He reigns. He is standing by my side to bring his word to pass. He reigns, He reigns, my God is an awesome God. He reigns, He reigns, He reigns, He reigns, He reigns, He was standing by my side. Listen, hear me. You need to shake off unbelief from your life today and say, Lord, I believe you. I may let everyone call me stupid, but I believe you. Let everyone mock me and laugh at me, but I believe you. I believe you. Your word is true, and I believe you. When you say I am great, I believe you. When you say I am the head, I believe you. When you say, I am not the tail, I believe you. When you say, Gentiles shall come to my light, I believe you. When you say, their kings will come to the brightness of my rising, I believe you. Listen, there are some of you in this place, God has told you you will stand before nations, but as it is, you look so weak, and you will not believe it. You don't know the village I come from. I cannot even speak English well. That's not what God is saying. Believe me and let me take you there by myself. Years ago, when God told me he was giving me access to kings and people in government, I believed him. Our very first crusade, I demanded to see and let us share fellowship with the king of the land. We didn't have the opportunity to do it the first time. Every one of our crusades that we had gone, I demanded an audience with the kings because God told me he would give me access to kings. I believe God. It's none of your business who my father is. It's none of your business who my mother is. That's not what God said. That's not the condition for his word. I believe him. The same way some of you are here. And God, you go to bed and you see yourself carrying the baton of generals. You wake up in the morning and say, it's a lie. It's not for people like us. We are the anyhow. Stop that, that ungodly talk. And say, Lord, with all humility, I believe. Let it come. I believe you. It was in Port Harcourt. I was tending to a sick, one of our sick aunties, where I was staying in 2007. I was in Port Harcourt. And she was on her sick bed. She eventually died. And I was taking care of her in the teaching hospital there. 
and I was there. We were running shifts. And then from the, I don't know which of the floors now, I just looked at um, the window and all of a sudden I was caught up in a vision. And in that vision I saw the international headquarters of this ministry. I saw 37 flags. And I saw white men. I saw nations coming. I said, what is this? And God said, that's where you are going. I believed him. I said, let's go, oh God. Let's go. I believe you. God told me I will never beg one king and beg any man for audience. I believed him. I believed him. I believed him. Do, can you believe God? One day I remember growing up, I told my mother, I said, do not worry about the things that are happening. One day, you will eat and never have to beg for bread again. And it will be in your lifetime. I said it. See, the righteousness of faith speaks. It does not assume. You make statements that sometimes you are afraid. My wife, right now we may be soaking Gary. But in the name of Jesus, we will give to nations. And when you say the devil will speak to your ears and say, foolish man, respect yourself. My faith, it reaches out to you. I believe your word for me today. My faith reaches out to you. Listen, one day I was praying and the Lord spoke to me and said, Son, I will give you a gold mine. I believed it literally. I know it may have a prophetic meaning, but I believed it literally. Until three years ago, when three kings came together to give me 18.5 hectares of a gold mine, God said it and I believed it. See, listen, let me tell you this. This ego and the feeling of saying, let them not say, I believe God and it was a lie. If you don't throw that thing away to stand and trust God, so what if you find out it's not God that said it? You readjust and move. This ego is why many people will not grow. God said it, but I'm ashamed. I'm afraid. Let them not laugh at me. I remember when God gave me an instruction to empty my entire finance. It was a stupid thing. It was suicidal. But I did it. And God told me I would never beg for bread in my life again. I remember it was in this ministry. God gave an instruction to empty the account of the ministry. Literally. 0.00. And I believed him. Stupidly believed him. One week after that. God brought a harvest that till tomorrow we will not recover from. But I know whom I believe. If God says I will give you a house, believe him. If God says you will feed nations, believe him. If God says you will pay the school fees of a generation, believe him. Don't believe your ATM. Let God be true and every man a liar. Please hear what I'm telling you today. This life and this destiny, I stand before the God of heaven. And may I be forgiven if it's a show of arrogance. But there are many things. One of the things that God does with me is he mandates me to declare what he said before it happens. There are many things that I've said. Today, Prof said something here that really touched me. Um, in the morning and he said that one of his daughters he remembered when we were meeting those days on campus and that I said that God is bringing mantle a mantle of people for kingdom financiers and he saw his then little daughter she was rolling under the anointing and he looked at her and was wondering and he said that she got a job and within one year 
bought a car of over three million and he said he was surprised when god says it he would do it if he did it before he can do it again Before, if we did it before, we can do it again. When we started the Koinonia worship team, I stopped these guys for many years from going for external ministrations. And I told them, I said, do you know why? I know what God showed me about you. That days will come, you will sing and nations will sing your songs. Stay and be dealt with by the Spirit. Those days, some of them didn't understand because they wanted to go for programs and say, sit down. Sit down. Today, it's amazing the way one by one it's already starting like droplets but it's an avalanche it will come and you will see the songs that come from here songs that will mentor nations songs of warfare songs of victory songs of the throne you see most times we don't believe men till it's too late we we'll say he said it too i believe him i believe you that's why you see me stand to teach you do you know let me confess through confession i was i had a meeting before coming here you know i had a meeting and then um just briefly met with a family and then a woman before coming preparing to come for koinonia and while i was preparing i was so tired i sat down and i didn't know which one to do to eat or to rest and i stood i was so tired and i was telling the woman i said my god all i want to do now is to sleep but i just got up I said, I rebuke that statement. There is a generation to mentor. There are people to raise. And she said, ah, Apostle, I know you. As soon as you are done with all this talk, the zeal of the Lord that is in you, you will quickly go and prepare and stand up. And truly, you see me standing now. I'm done here and I'm counseling for hours. Seven in the morning, I'm out of this city just to go and just perform a function, do a few things and return. Sacrifice. But that happens because God said so. God promised me that he would keep me strong and vibrant. I believed him. You do what I do in the strength of the flesh, you will not be sick, you will die. I say it without exaggeration. You literally will fall down and you will die. One day my father warned me and said, Look my son, just do your best. Take out time once in a while and rest. I said, I know and I believe I will rest. But the king's business requires haste. There are destinies to be raised. There are impartations to come to nations. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I went to bed to five. It was as if I just turned my head and I checked the time. And it was morning. The last thing I remember was that I was going to take, there was water by the side of my bed and a drink. And I remember I was preparing that in five minutes I would just turn and take a sleep. And I had slept. It was already morning. And I got up, had to brush up on my notes to come. Why? Because when you are about his business, he will maintain you. There are things you cannot lie about. Not for long. It will be clear. See, let me tell you this God has been faithful to me you see these hands I have laid these hands on different sicknesses and diseases communicable ones I'm not supposed to be alive today based on the things and the people I have touched you must believe God God told me forget about cars and houses focus on me I've raised men already to do that for you. I remember when someone came and met me to give me a car. I was happy and God said, it's not your car. Just pray for him and let him carry his car and go. 
I want to say, God, the next time you will give me a lift. But I was happy. Do you believe what I share with you? Can you spare me five more minutes? Are you tired? I know you are tired. You are just passionate. But listen, let me tell you this. You must love tomorrow more than today to enter that tomorrow. If you love your today more than tomorrow, the door has closed. Closed by you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When I was in secondary school and the fire of God fell upon us, we started a prayer group and a prayer movement called Operation Katakus. Yes. We would pray sometimes immediately after preps. It was supposed to be a little one hour prayer. And some of these weak spirited people who are feeling sleepy would just tell them, look, go to your hostel and sleep. One hour it will become a vigil. I was made the timekeeper of the school in JS2. That was the level of the hand of God that was upon my life. Quarter to five, someone would wake me every day without fail. Quarter to five. That was when I started having encounters with this. I didn't even know that they were angelic encounters. Fifteen minutes on the dot to five. Tap me. I wake up. Father, help this generation. In the name of Jesus. Help us to be so consumed by the reality of the realm of the spirit. And the power that that realm wields upon this realm. All you see is not all there is. Hallelujah. So when you hear a word like you are blessed when you hear a word like doors be open many of us just say amen as a christian response to a man of god's prayer but a few people will believe god and take him literally and said when i said amen i said let it be so where is it oh god i said amen i expect an answer the last that i will give us and then we're done territorial advancement the last key let me five minutes and we are done the power are we ready the power of consistent results one of the kingdom keys allocated for dominating a territory is consistent results Let me tell you this. Consistent results shows that there is understanding. Consistent results show that there is knowledge. Consistent results show that mastery has been attained. Consistent results. Years ago, I started watching a man who would lift people off wheelchairs and crutches as though it was a joke he would stand and look at them and just pray a simple prayer sometimes even be sarcastic about it and throw the wheelchair and throw the crutch and said walk and that's the end of it in in about six years he raised about nine thousand crutches and wheelchairs his his church is full of crutches around the church i said this is mastery i must go down to see him he was in South Africa and I traveled, he's going to be with the Lord now, Prophet Kobus van Rensburg. I traveled to South Africa to meet him and I met him and I told him why I was here. I was not there for, for pilgrimage, I was not there for entertainment, I was there for business. I said, I desire this grace. I desire it. It is a grace. 10,000 crutches cannot be mistaken. No. Many unbelieving members, yet they were also raising crutches. You could see that they didn't have faith. Yet they would say, walk and joke with it. You see, many times when the leader that you are under is carrying a grace, you will cheaply receive that grace. Listen, when you receive that grace and receive that dimension, 
many times you will see how cheap it works some of you here who are under this ministry and under this covering you will go for meetings casually and just say let's pray and the power of god is here and it will be as if you are acting drama and even you you have not really studied the dynamics of the anointing many people started getting prosperous in living faith before they read about prosperity it was later they found out they were even sinners because they were not tithing yet they were still enjoying abundance say okay lord forgive me now i'll start doing it properly some people were strolling and just saw prayer city prayer was going in and they said let me go and find out what is going on there and from that day they cannot sleep again till they pray because a grace came upon them let me tell you this results are governed by three things one light two please listen results are governed by three things one light two association three graces these are the factors that govern results in this kingdom never forget it light the depth of the spiritual illumination you have as it pertains the area where you want to see results. Number two, association. God called Abraham and Lot went with him. And then number three, graces. If there is any area in your life where you are not commanding results, check for these three things. One, there is a dimension of spiritual illumination that you are lacking. Number two, there is a community of people with that grace that you have not honored. And number three, there is a dimension of grace that has not rested upon you. It is easy to produce results when you know the laws that govern them. Hallelujah. Do you know, let me tell you, as little as this thing, our, our time is up, as little as what I shared with you is, if you understand this mystery, my brothers and my sisters, there are dimensions that God has cheaply committed to this ministry. You will enter into it like a joke. You know, it pains me when I see certain graces that are so lavishly available. But there is no widespread testament of people who have entered that dimension. The knowledge you have, the spiritual understanding. Number two, your association. Not just in terms of friends also the covenants the tribe that you come under that you are grafted into and then number three the graces that are upon your life any man who is exposed to these tripartite forces will be a strange man upon the earth when i traveled to south africa to meet prophet kobus van rensburg i'd wanted going to meet robert Lerdan. And then Charles and Francis Hunter. Unfortunately, I couldn't meet them. I sat down and I listed like an architect the graces that will construct the house. I listed them. And I searched for the individuals that had those graces. Like a chef says, I need salt. Where do we buy salt? Sabo. Where do we? This is how I listed these graces. Like a bee. And I searched for them one by one. I was very, very foolish at a point in my life. I knew that wisdom would be part of the graces that I would need for my life and I would need for this apostolic office. I pursued Dr. Miles Murdoch and Bishop David Oyedeko. These were the two dimensions of, of wisdom that came to my life. I saw the wisdom of God at work in their life and I said, this foolishness must end. I pursued that grace. I pursued it with all my heart. Are we together? Yes. Results. Whoever commands results becomes the leader. Whoever commands results becomes the force to reckon with. I submit to you that many of the dimensions that you see in my life and in this ministry they are not guesswork. There is an exact knowledge that is back of them. They will continue to be reproduced again and again. When there is increase, when there is the outstretched hand of God, when there is favor, there is prosperity. 
when there is passion and hunger for God these are results please do not join the people who ignore results I'm wrapping up I know the rain is done but just, just be patient make sure as they are coming out they are still listening please you are going to pray for results listen to me I told myself God there is no need to be in ministry if I'm not producing results that you bear fruits and that your fruits abide much fruits some of you who are visiting this place for the first time will go back and know that God is here you met him it's called results the next time you come you will not come alone let me tell you empty pews are proof of lack of results it's an uncomfortable truth but it is true are we together in fact empty anything emptiness is proof that you do not understand the laws that govern you i knew i saw the way pastors used to raise money now please i'm not being sarcastic with all respect and all honor to men of god and the body of christ but i saw the way people were being manipulated to raise money i saw the way pastors birthday pastor I'm, i said no this is not bible but then i asked myself a question how will you eat and how will the ministry thrive and then i said i have to go to the word of god and find out and then i found out that god can open a door for a man that no man can shut i found out that there was an exactitude to the blessing of god let me show you one of the most recent scripture i found first corinthians 29 12 i apologize we are wrapping up first first chronicles 29 12 first chronicles 29 12 i saw this scripture in my dream i was sleeping and this scripture came and i woke up and i saw it and i rejoiced i said that means god is shifting me to another dimension both riches and what honor come from you you reign over all of them it's a dangerous scripture both riches and honor come from thee you reign over all and in thy hand is power and might look at all the things we need in one verse riches honor power might greatness strength god is the owner i saw it in my dream i went to sleep home and i saw that scripture i got up and i searched it i said this is this if this scripture were a clot it would have faded by now i prayed this scripture into my life See, I stepped into the grace for favor when I prayed for favor for one month. That was my prayer request. Not for a selfish reason. Lord, a man can carry favor bodily. Let me be an example of it. Do you know many times when I pray these things, it's so that I will bring it and you will receive. It's not so much for myself. When I received the grace for long life, it, it was with speed. The day I was coming for Koinonia, it was as if I was going for my wedding reception. Give me chance. Let me stand. These people were singing and I couldn't wait for them to finish singing so that I would climb up. I came with a grace that I did not have. The grace for long life. You can carry graces like a fisherman. When you catch something and you push your hook, you draw it, force it out when you see what it is. This kingdom is a kingdom of deep mysteries. Deep mysteries. Deep mysteries. Hallelujah. Both riches and honor come from you. Thou reignest over all. And in thy hand is power and might. And in thy hand is to make great. Look, God is the maker of greatness. When God selects you to be great, He selects you to be the face of a generation. It doesn't matter who thinks what or does not think it. God has chosen this ministry 
God has chosen us by the privilege of His grace to be one of the major pillars of what He's doing in this generation. It's an honor we receive. He made it so. Results. We are going to pray. We have to wrap up. Listen to me. Koinonia, hear me. My heart is pained if your life does not command results. Let it first start from your life. Then we'll start commanding results over territories. Was it not Joshua that told the son to stand? Results. There are results that can shut down a nation in one day. A time will come, kings will come to seek the counsel of God from us. And say, what is God saying? He said, kings will entreat. Precious beloved, the word of the Lord surely will be made manifest in your life. I'd like you to hold on to the word of the Lord. Are you believing the Lord for a financial open door, a marital breakthrough, a fruit of the womb, a testimony, a miracle? Are you believing the Lord for a scholarship? Are you believing the Lord for um, an admission academically? Are you believing the Lord for, for a relationship life, a stable relationship life? Are you believing the Lord for a breakthrough in whatever aspect of your life? I'd like you to believe every bit of God's word which you have listened to and everything God has said about your life will surely come to pass. Just believe. Believe. Jesus was asking the people and he said, do you believe? So he truly wants us to believe in that which he said to do. He truly wants us to believe in that which um, he, he wants to do in our life. Our faith must collide with the possibility of God so as to bring that which is in the heart of the father to pass just believe and you see the miracles the manifestation of the wonders of the lord in your life just believe and you see everything coming to pass everything coming to play out in your life the expectation of the righteous don't forget shall not be cut short and because it shall not be cut short because god is involved in it put your mind and focus on god by the word of his mouth and you see that his promises about your life will come to pass thank you so much and god bless you do well to share this video subscribe to this channel reflect to hope tv if you are a new subscriber and god bless you see you in our next video thank you so very much